what I'm gonna um, show you this one. So this is the book I feel like you're to finish all of mine. I'm actually gonna show you um, other new dress art. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. So today is first day, I think it's 10 to 11, yes. And I've just finished filming some TikTok videos, I wanted to show you this dress. Hence why I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick up a camera and start vlog here. Uh, today I will do probably clips here and there um, over the next few days. I should be um, going to actually shoot on Monday. Hopefully the weather's gonna be good with a new photographer I've never shot before. She actually approached me on Instagram. So I wanted to also plan some outfits. I've planned one with this dress. Um, I'm actually gonna link it down below. It's beyond. Um, I think it's more kind of summer spring dress, uh, but I was using it for a video how to look like an Alexander McQueen model sound. I've done one before. It actually did quite well. Um, I'm not sure, it was somewhere in between 10,000 to 20,000 views. I'm not talking like millions, but it did, it did quite well, that sound. So I thought I'm going to recreate it with this dress because as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yes, that is a romantic dress. So I'm going to show you in the mirror later. If you guys are new around here, my name is Eva. I live in London. I am an influencer. I'm also Harper's Bazaar contributing editor. And I would love if you hit the subscribe button down below and join me on this YouTube journey on my little channel here. And all the links to social media are always in the description box. Uh, all the like uh, items I'm talking about and things I'm wearing, I always try to link the same or the alternative. So I wanted to start the vlog here. I now need to tidy up the mess upstairs. I'll show you the dress in the mirror because it is simply beautiful. And then I will get on with cooking and then pick my son Liam up from nursery. So I actually sat down here because there's a nice, quite nice light coming uh, from the window here in the living room. And yeah, that's that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I'm going to show you also beautiful flowers before I go upstairs. So Mother's Day is this weekend and I got sent quite a few bits. Maybe it can appear in the vlog. Maybe I'll show you tomorrow because I don't know how much I'm going to vlog today. I just wanted to start the vlog, but I'll show you beautiful bouquet. I'm also going to link down below where the bouquet is from. It's simply beyond. I uh, follow them on Instagram. I've actually noticed they followed me from before. And I'm like, how did I miss these guys? It's incredible what they do. And this was sent by uh, the flower bomb, Victor and Rolf. Uh, fragrance team from L'Oreal. I love it. Um, this vlog is not going to be going up on time but there's basically an offer on Mother's Day on Fragrance Direct that when you buy actually the Flower Bomb 50ml and up you can get um, a free hand cream which I think is a beautiful gift for Mother's Day but I'll still link the fragrance below because it's it's definitely one of the best selling fragrances out there. Uh, okay, so let me show you the bouquet. Let's go upstairs. I want to tidy up the the clothes. I filmed two videos today. I really feel like fashion videos, but I know the comedy videos do better. I just haven't had the the muse. I actually did film one yesterday and it had, what well, I think it's at 30,000 views at the moment. So it's doing also quite well because it's related to the Meghan and Harry interview, uh, which probably most of you watched and um, I would love to know your opinion maybe leave me a comment below and I'll see we can have a little chat underneath in the comments below so let me show you the flowers three, three minutes 37 and I'm still talking <laughs> this is the longest intro ever and then we go upstairs so this is the bouquet I mean is this piece of art it's incredible I'm I'm just blown away blown away. This is exactly a representation of the flower bomb fragrance. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna give it actually fresh water before I forget because I want these to last as long as possible. Right, this is the dress. So it's basically like a linen, I think it's 100% linen shirt dress with big balloon sleeves. Let me pull it out. <laughs> okay, it's quite hard, yeah. So they're really really big. It's beautiful, very timeless. I think when you kind of work with the string here. You can actually belt it. That's what I did for the video. It looked really good. The only thing with linen, it creases a lot. I was just <laughs> messaging my friend Kat and telling her that it always creases a lot, but it's stunning even when you button it up to the top. It's not pure, pure white. It's kind of creamy, but so beautiful. I'm obsessed. 
I'll definitely be wearing this a lot in the spring and summer. Oh yeah, so pretty, right? Not just an ordinary shirt dress and so girly and the skirt is so full. I'm very, very happy with this. Okay, so I'm gonna tidy up now, guys, and catch up with you either later today or tomorrow. <laughs> I'm actually gonna show you uh, the other new dress I have. They're both from Shona Joy. This is like an asymmetric one. Uh, there's a split in here, sorry, I'm only wearing socks, but I'm already thinking, uh, because I wanna shoot these two dresses, how I'm gonna style it. I think I'm gonna try to belt it. I'm so worried because I know it's gonna be cold. Maybe I'll be lucky and it won't. Um, so yeah, it's so beautiful. I was first worried because I have got quite small boobs and yeah, I could do with a boob job. But then again, my, one of my best friends told me uh, she thinks actually these dresses look better with smaller boobs. Yeah, it's debatable, but um, some people do say that uh, and I need to cut this. But it's really, really pretty. I mean, super sexy. Like making one of my favorite salads for lunch. Very simple, full of goodness, super delicious. So I quickly eat. My nephew wants me to help him with his English homework again. So hopefully I'll just catch up with him before I go to pick Liam up so I can spend time with Liam this afternoon. Guys, Liam is so lazy. He doesn't want to go out or do anything. He wants to be home because he's got new toys. I can't get over how generous and beautiful are gifts for Mother's Day. So I just received this from the McGlure fragrance team. Uh, so they send me the classic Angel. I must say, like, Angel is probably my second. Um, I do love Alien. Um, I've actually, I'm actually wearing it today. It's one of my old school perfumes I could go to. And look at these cookies. How wonderful is this? So if Ty doesn't help Liam to get me any presents, I'm actually sorted. I've got cookies, I've got chocolate. I got perfumes, I got flowers, everything is so beautiful. But I wanted to show you what's in this. So brand Etika, if you are a regular follower, you probably have seen probably some of my uh, older um, links and me wearing Etika. But I have picked and I, um, I got gifted basically this uh, necklace and I'll show you in a minute. I have really, really good news because, um, and this is not paid, I have got a discount called 20%. I will um, write it down below, but it's basically EVA20 and their jewellery is so beautiful. I'm very, very happy with the quality. I would call it like an American Misoma. Um, so guys, definitely check it out. Um, I'll show you the necklace now. I know it's going to look amazing. Definitely great for layering, but on its own as well. So I will open this, but guys, definitely take an account this discount code because they've got some beautiful pieces. Maybe I'll do like a, a little selection for you guys or maybe even in this vlog I can talk about it and show you some of my favorite pieces they have because I did uh, save a couple uh, of the earrings I uh, had I liked uh, but I think I wanted like a necklace I can layer with others so <laughs> Eva stop rambling and let's open this. Yeah, so this is the necklace. So as you can see, it's 18 karat gold uh, plated. Um, look at the clasp. You will have the branding there as well. So like this, and I know it's gonna look so, so pretty. I can just see like uh, a simple white shirt, for example, with a blazer, like a classic look. Uh, you can't go wrong with um, just this and maybe layered with something else, but it is super beautiful. So I've been, Liam actually fell asleep, so I've been decluttering a little bit here uh, some of my makeup products and I was just checking email, I need to get ready for this Zoom. So it's with Jo Loves, um, they have just introduced a Cobalt Patchouli and Setter and the whole fragrance is all about basically how tough the last year was and it's about looking forward to the days of freedom and flexibility again. So it is very much current on the topic. Yes, so I'm, lo I'm, lo um, I'm longing for that moment of liberation and freedom to live life again. Um, basically, Jo Malone uh, designed this fragrance to represent this. And it's gonna be a little uh, art class, which I'm terrible at. Uh, if I'm really bad at something, it's singing and art. And um, we're gonna be painting these. So I've got um, a little apron. And I'm thinking whether I set up here because, uh, let me have a look. 
The event starts in an hour and 10 minutes, it's never on time, so I think it will have to be downstairs because Liam fell asleep on the sofa, so he can sometimes panic and start to look for me, so I think I'll set up downstairs, I need to cover the table with a foil or something and then get ready for this. I think I'll wear this because, you know, this is okay to damage, um, this part I would like to dress up and everything. Uh, we do have an apron, there's a pot, there's some colours, I know this is going to end up really badly, but the brands are really trying to make it more engaging and fun, so I'll do my best, but uh, I'm not the best when it comes to art, I'll leave that to my husband's family, and let's hope that Liam is going to take after them. So they've got Tyke's mumbles painting, we've got some of the paintings downstairs, uh, Tyke's aunt is painting, we've got also paintings around the house from her, but not my family, <laughs> so I'll catch up with you later guys. Guys, I'm ready in my apron. <laughs> Mum just called me, but I can't speak to her. We're literally starting in two minutes. And what was I going to say? Honestly, I got so many beautiful things. I'm quite excited about this. And I feel like it's getting busier. I keep getting digital, obviously digital invites to everything. But there's new launches, new things happening. It's like spring is coming. Obviously, we've got Mother's Day. So with kind of any holidays and any event, things always pick up, which is great. Um... It's nice to break it up and what else? I just posted my TikTok video I filmed today and I need to run to the bathroom and then start the event. <laughs> um, from the i team we have Jody and Siobhan here and um, from the Jollofs team we've got Anne. <laughs> Actually quite fun guys. I'm terrible at art but uh, they were guiding us so it's not as bad. But Liam's having a go. Cute. Well done sweetheart. Hey guys uh, so today is Friday and I think I'm probably gonna do just this quick clip uh, because I still maybe want to film when we are shooting on Monday and just do a few clips. Um, I've decided today I'm gonna have more chill today although I still have to publish um, my YouTube video, you know, that when I say like chill day, it means I'm probably not going to be creating actively content apart from maybe a bit of vlogging. Uh, so I've done uh, this morning the usual, my workout, my uh, meditation, uh, quite long one. Uh, that was after I dropped Liam off to nursery. I did my reading, the still on the Joe Dispenza book and my Duolingo. So I'm still kind of keeping up to my schedule. I'm just not creating. Um, the only thing I may do today is maybe take a quick image if the sun is gonna stay out like it is now but I wanted to do it in the morning whilst Liam was at nursery but the weather just turned and I wanted to um, show you my new bag so I thought I'm gonna um, show you this one uh, it's from Pollen uh, which is a French brand I really like their bags I think uh, they're definitely in the range more affordable yet a designer quality uh, so they use really nice uh, materials really nice leather uh, they are very uh, much about sustainability um, and you see them on a lot of influencers uh, so i actually chose one that kind of reminds me you know you see this shape of bag quite a lot it's it's got a bit of bottega vibe and a beautiful color it's actually neuf uh, which is number nine in french I'm progressing with my French, but still at the very beginning. And it's really beautifully wrapped uh, like this. I'm actually gonna link it below. Uh, you get a dust bag. And this is the bag. 
also has got a long strap you can see that basically you can link it here but i think it's beautiful i mean the color itself is stunning and i'm actually really glad it arrived today because i can actually use this for a shoot on monday i've sent my photographer my two looks but i need to put together one more and um, i'm actually gonna get gifted um from this brand i've never worked with more clothes and there is a dress i'm thinking uh maybe to use as well for the shoot depending if it arrives i have no idea but it could arrive today it could arrive tomorrow i never work with the brand i don't know how fast they are when it comes to turning around uh the orders but this is so stunning i just love a smell of a new bag um and just the feel of it so this really made up my friday and it's a really nice size I would say size-wise, maybe similar size to my Balenciaga city bag. And I think it will go with so many things. Also nice summer bag, nice winter bag. I will link it down below, but other models are also really, really beautiful. I'd say this one is a little bit more uh, trendy. I'm just trying to figure out how do you clip this on? Because I don't see the actual clip unless it's like this oh yeah I think so I think it's like this yeah so you take it apart it doesn't have an actual clip like that very clever <laughs> and I will show you when it's with the long strap so you can wear it cross body now when I got this bag I feel a little bit more motivated to go out and maybe create content mm -hmm. but uh, no I feel um, I quite a lot suffer from carpal tunnel and I know when that hits that means I've been a lot on my phone, on my computer, doing social media and I know when that happens it's time to take a little bit easier. This is so good and then you can adjust the strap here as well so yeah very good i'm so delighted with this so i will link as always guys everything down below my hair could do with a little touch up oh yes and i'm also wearing guys the necklace that arrived yesterday so i've layered it with another etika necklace uh sorry for pulling it down but i just feel on the uh on the skin it looks definitely more more out there and you can see it better. So these are both Etika, I've layered it today, so I will link them below. I think that this one is still, but I've had it maybe for two years now. And I have a discount code EVA20 if you wanna order anything, so it's 20% off. Uh, so yeah, this is my new bag. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna go downstairs, just clean up after cooking. Uh, I've actually eaten already quite early. Um, but I'm thinking just to have a normal dinner with Taik. I'm still gonna be focusing on like protein and veg, but um, yeah, I just had, they call it like chi Chinese stir fry in the detox, but it's not, it's nowhere near like, you know, the Chinese you would expect. It's basically like broccoli, some peas and chicken um, with onions. I've added actually some garlic for a bit of taste and a bit of curry powder. I think without the curry powder it would be much plainer but it was actually delicious. Once I added the curry powder it was really yummy. So guys I'll catch up with you later otherwise I'm gonna be talking nonsense for much longer. <laughs> uh, good morning. Uh, so it's uh, it's actually lunchtime now and I thought I'm gonna just give you a quick catch up what I've been up to because I, I filmed a couple of snippets. So uh, today I had a uh, I met with my friend Margita, who's in our support bubble and we're in hers. She lives nearby and she lives on her own and we had a plan just to catch up and uh, just run a couple of errands. So after ages and I kind of wish I was filming but you know with catching up and chatting and having Liam I totally forgot so we first uh, because Liam woke up super early and he was like so excited to see her he was like, oh my god, let's go. We literally went to the playground, I think at 7.30. Uh, so we started like in the playground and then we drove uh, to Starbucks, got ourselves coffee, she had a quick breakfast. Uh, Liam had a muffin which he chose, which I, by, by the way, really want to recreate. So he picked a chocolate ch um, cheesecake muffin as I was already looking up recipes and sent it to my sister who... Uh, is really good at baking, uh, so she does amazing cakes and everything. 
Um, so I may actually attempt today as long as I have got everything I need at home. And I then basically had to go and pick up something for Argos, Liam's uh, into another cartoon, um, Elf and Princess Holly Now, and he just loves when he has got the toys, like the little characters. So I've ordered it, uh, I think this morning or yesterday, so we drove to Argos to pick it up, and got for Argos and accessible toys and anything you need for the house. And I also need to pick up something at B&Q, so I've got a couple of snippets from B&Q, and it was really nice to actually go, you know, with somebody you know, and you know we had a really nice catch up because we haven't seen each other for a while uh so we've done like a couple of <laughs> um errands this morning so i feel we've achieved a lot and my friend margita also because she doesn't have a car and wanted to buy like a you know one of those compost bags so we picked that up and i needed to um, get a couple of bits for the garden as well and on the way home Liam fell asleep, so he's now napping on the sofa and I just finished cooking a quick lunch, um, just basically whatever was left over in, um, in our fridge. Uh, so I'm doing quick fajitas and I received a parcel from Galini. Galini is a beautiful brand, you have probably seen it numerous times, I actually use their products regularly, like this hair serum and I love their uh, body milk as well. And I got sent the face vinegar, this is one of their best-selling products. It's basically like your micellar water, the Euphra serum. They, it all contains uh, probiotics, uh, the scalp and hair, and hair serum, which I've showed you, and the body milk. It's actually my go-to body milk now. Um, it's really good for uh, sensitive skin. Uh, so thank you so, so much, Galini. And it came in this beautiful pouch, beautiful color, probiotic. Uh, microbiome love calming skin uh, kind of words uh, with the Galini branding so I'm gonna go and eat now maybe we'll catch up with you later but I thought I'm gonna give you a bit of snippet of what's happening to be honest I wanted to have a totally different plan because Tyke is actually at work so in the morning I wanted to whilst he's not at home to create a lot of content film but Liam was like no I want to see Auntie Margita and we literally left the house early but I'll see I either film maybe one or two videos today and then the rest tomorrow. Not ideal, but at least we had a lovely morning. So I'll catch up with you later, guys. Good morning, guys. So a little bit scary intro. Uh, today, today is Monday and I started my day with this Shiseido Vital Perfection um, face mask. It came uh, basically in a PR box. So there's two masks in this. I've got Liam here with me. And I thought I'm gonna start a little bit pamper, just gonna um, hydrate my lips because I have a shoot today with a photographer. We can now legally meet with one person outside, uh, obviously maintaining the social distancing. And I feel like, it, I just genuinely feel like quite strange. I've not done this for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, I would say I haven't met with a photographer like that for at least a year. And Mishko zavřít dveře, prosím tě. At least, um, so I haven't met with a photographer at least for a year, and I'm almost like it's not anxiety, it's a bit like uh, okay, going back, you know, uh, how, you know, where am I gonna change? Probably somewhere the public toilets, and um, basically getting back to work as I remember it. Um, I had never shot with this photographer, um, she messaged me on Instagram, which I'm very grateful for, so it's gonna be quite nice. Um, to try somebody different, somebody I haven't worked with before and I'm quite excited because I've got quite a uh, nice looks to shoot. There's some dresses and I think we're gonna do three looks today. So I'm planning the whole logistics of what am I bringing with me for the shoot and we're gonna do it when Liam is at nursery. So I'm gonna finish my pamper. I need to paint my toenails because I think for one of the looks I'm gonna wear my uh, Nicolas Kirkwood sandal mules. And I'll catch up with you later, guys. So I dropped Liam off to nursery. I actually started to chat to one mom, so I have got maybe 15 minutes to get ready. Makeup is done, light. I'm gonna take one lipstick maybe to change. And I'm just gonna quickly style my hair and pack the stuff in the suitcase. And I'm gonna head out and you coming with me because an exciting thing like that hasn't happened to me for a long time. So we finally can meet somebody outside, not just for workout purposes, not that people are <laughs> doing it. Uh, you see people sitting around on the benches and everything all the time, but yeah, 
I'm very excited about this. So I may put you on a time lapse and do this hair and listening to my good day affirmations on YouTube. So this is how I'm gonna leave my hair uh, just because I never style it more like a straight way and just curled a little bit the ends so I thought it's gonna be nice for a change to do that like that okay love 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 this look uh, I'm wearing new glasses that are super cheap I'm gonna talk to you about it later unless I've already spoken about it I will see then in the cutouts uh, so when I get back because I don't have much time I'm actually wearing tights um, because I'm sensible. I'm definitely not one of those girls, uh, especially with Covid around, that's going to be running around. I should have immunity, but you can pick up anything else just because you're not dressed properly. I'm going to wear my super warm coat. So everything is going to be linked below. Messy haul, but look how nice is the bag. I can't get enough and I fit so much, including my water bottle, my camera, my makeup bag. So I'm going to head out now. I actually look like a human being, guys. Makeup, hair, Sunglasses, nice clothes, yes! Hey guys, I just arrived at London Bridge. I'm a bit early, as always. And it's meant to rain, uh, so there's showers, but the next shower is meant to go quite long. I was hoping that maybe India's gonna be here already, uh, that she's gonna be a freak like me, <laughs> always early, but she's not here yet. Now is a perfect sunshine, so it'll be good to get at least one look done and then worry about the rest. Um, I mean, there's always options, like for example, here, you know, use these pillars, but it's not the same as, you know, nice, proper full light in your face. Uh, a bit of sunshine, so let's see. Loving these glasses, guys, but let's talk about it later. Treat them right, put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye. I'm too fly. I'm at the Borough Market, we just finished, it was very hectic, so I didn't get to film anything. It was rainy, I think I'll tell you everything about it later, but we've got some images. Basically, it just started to rain as soon as she arrived, so we were not really lucky, and then we were told of probably at least five times by the security around the Tower Bridge. Apparently, you're not allowed to shoot there or anything, so that was quite complicated. So we ended up at Borough Market, I should at this wall before. And obviously it's under the bridge, so it's safe from the rain. And I'm just going to walk quickly through Borough Market because it's just so nice to be a little bit more central, you know, and just do this. Uh, but you see people sitting around and chilling, so yeah, but it's definitely much quieter. So I'm going to head home now. Uh, I have to put myself lunch at home. One of my detox ones, Tyke's going to have pizza, Liam has got lunch at school and just enjoy the rest of the day. I'm definitely out of practice with the shoots, with the changing, you know, somewhere at the toilet. So I was changing at London Bridge. That's the non-glamour part. Um, but I feel like, yeah, the hair just went because of the rain. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm glad I've done it. <laughs> and why to I lay with it? And why to I lay with it? I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side so Right, I just got home and I'm sorting the mess. <laughs> I've been unpacking whatever I had with me and quickly gonna have lunch and then pick Liam up. They is gone guys for me in terms of work. So I, so I pressed something on my camera and I find it so distracting because I can't see my face and I need to figure out how to restart this. Um, it was hectic. I totally forgot how hectic can be shooting, especially when the weather turns not in your favor. Uh, but I am home. Uh, another issue we came across was uh, the security guides. So apparently it's a private area all the way from London Bridge through Hayes Gallery, uh, the view on the Tower, Hill, uh, Tower Bridge and Tower Hill, and you can't take pictures there. I mean, I've had that issue before, but they don't mind taking pictures on iPhone. 
um, but as soon as you look a little bit more professional that you know they see a nice outfit or something like that they stop you and they literally followed us like five times so that wasn't great I absolutely loved India so interesting such an interesting person uh, she's actually an actress lived uh, grew up in Dubai lived in LA uh, she actually knows the actress um, I think it's what's her name the actress that played Princess Diana in um, the uh, season four crown which was so good she was brilliant I really hope that girl just is gonna blow up at the moment because she was just per perfect perfect and um, it's raining again so I'm glad I managed to <laughs> actually walk a little bit in the sunshine um, I was panicking but I thought I lost one of the earrings when I was changing in the toilets but I found it I maybe threw it in another bag um, I don't have any pictures on my iPhone and I'm now thinking what am I going to use as a thumbnail for this so maybe just like a selfie or something which I took and I've did I've done literally one TikTok in the rain um, I mean it couldn't be more London even if you ask so I'm happy with that but it was nice to be around Borough Market and yeah it all feels a little bit surreal that you know you shoot with somebody like the old days you go out you've got three looks you change somewhere street toilet <laughs> the less glamorous side of the things and it was just so hectic you know you can't do I'm always thinking well, I'll do a bit of stories I'll do this I'll do a bit of vlogging but you can hardly focus on changing the outfits you know making sure you've got uh, at least one good image of each outfit I'm pretty sure I don't have a smashing image of one of the dresses because it started to rain and they kind of threw us out of the Hayes Galleria uh, but you know hopefully another occasion is gonna come uh, I'm gonna now I've got maybe 40 minutes to make myself lunch and pick Liam up but I can maybe eat um, even after I pick him up it doesn't matter but I want to talk to you about these sunglasses so I um, I really got recently and I don't I go through these phases that I stop watching YouTube then I start and for a very long time especially from I would say September to a good end of December I didn't watch anybody's vlogmas apart from I think Josie's um, because I feel a lot of the times it's taking if you watch other people it's taking time from your own creativity uh, firstly I think you get influenced not necessarily every time in a good way uh, I think if you just take a hint it's fine but that's probably not the main issue but the main issue is time so if I watch it it's usually in the mornings because we do wake up for five yeah if you a regular follower you know and I do a lot of things in the morning I mentioned it before like medit I meditate I read my books I always set myself target at least five pages and, you know sometimes I sort emails and stuff uh, but if I have spare time I then and I watch YouTube videos so I've got uh, into vlogs and I saw one of my favorite Irish vloggers Retro Flame showing these sunglasses she saw it on another influencer and um, you won't hear Ty here in the background so she saw it on another influencer and basically I think they're like selling inspired and she linked them in her vlog and and it was an American website so I've just copied the name of the sunglasses and I found them on the British Amazon and actually I found basically a package of three so it's the same model but different color you know different tint and they are oh my god amazing price I'm not gonna tell you it's insane like three pair of sunglasses you know I am probably more like on the designer side, I, I prefer the quality, uh, probably the similar reason as Erica was saying in her video, but this, these are the glasses, I actually took them today and I think they look amazing. I think if you want to update outfit or I think these deserve to be in one of those videos when they say um, how to look expensive for less. So this is the black version, guys definitely get these, what a treat, especially if spring is coming, you can literally rock all of them and create totally different looks and then we have got these ones these are also uber cool so so good so I've got this uh, tortoiseshell uh, print I've got them on my YSLs and then see I would never get these but it's actually super cool to have something like this like it's so edgy you know the shape is great I don't have any red sunglasses I used to have Dolce Gabbana but I sold them like years ago um, so I think this is pretty cool and a super nice affordable treat and I mean when I say affordable guys 
have a look, but I think these are cool. Even if you just get the black one, I mean, you would expect one pair to cost that money, but it was actually all three of them, and I'm in, I'm obsessed. So you yeah, guys, I'm gonna go downstairs now. Uh, I'm not gonna worry so much about tidying up this room. Uh, because I want to film again tomorrow. I got a good idea for a video with Blazina and hopefully you enjoy this video. It's a mishmash of everything uh, Showing some new stuff. By the way, I love the new Poland bag. It's so good. So practical. It looks beautiful Love that you have the long straps. It was very handy when I was pulling my suitcase with everything and I think that's it. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button. I think I'm gonna enjoy a lot of cup of teas this afternoon and cuddling Liam up on the sofa in this weather. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.